Okay, our first step is going to be to place that round peg. So to start, the first thing your packet tells you to do is you want to ground something in your um, assembly. Something should be held in place so that it can't move when other things are inserted or moved around. So we're going to ground the actual pegboard itself. So if I click on that item and right click, if I look in my list, one of the options I have here is grounded. So I'm making that a grounded shape. Now I can't move that one around. Other things I'll be able to move, this is grounded, it's stuck. I can tell it's grounded because if I look in my model panel over here, there's a little pin going through that part file. So the pin tells us that that's a grounded shape. We really only need to ground one thing in our file because if I ground, ground one item and then attach everything to that item, everything else should be grounded as well, kind of just by being part of that assembly. Okay, I want to show you how to insert the round peg. The round peg um, is just a couple of clicks to get it inserted into that round hole. I'm going to go up here to relationships and I want to create a relationship between the round peg and the round hole. So if I click constrain, these are the types of constraints that I can put on. The first one is called a mate. It's just lining up two things together. The second one is an angle, so I can set a certain angle that I want the two things to be connected by. The third is a tangent, so that two things are touching only at that one point or that one line on the plane. I can insert it, or I can do symmetrical. For inserting our pegs, we're going to use a mate command. And when I click on that, notice I get an arrow over here that has that little mating symbol on it. When I hover over my round peg, if I go towards the end, I have the end of the peg and I get a little arrow showing me that. But if I go to the middle, I can get the center line of the peg to show up. And by clicking, I've secured that axis as the thing that I'm mating. Now when I go over to my circles over here, or to my pegboard, if I'm on the surface, notice I have that arrow pointing up. But as I get closer to the hole, I can get the center line of the hole to show up as well. By clicking when the center line of the hole is shown, or the axis of the hole, you can see that I've mated those two axes together. When I click Apply, since it's lined up the axes, I'm going to right click just to get off of that. Since it's lined up the axes, this peg is now inserted so that it can slide in and out of the hole. I can no longer drag it to the left or to the right because I've mated the two axes, the one of the round hole and the one of the round peg. See if you can get your round peg um, put into the round hole. 